Hello everybody and welcome back to Starsick. Um with the drifter. That's that's me, that's who I am. Uh so the first episode, um that was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Um I think I passed out halfway through recording that actually at the end. Um I don't remember it. Um that'll be the drugs. <laughs> Uh, where we last left off, I know that we were looking specifically for a astral monument. Uh, one of these. Just, you know, bigger. Uh, <laughs> I've had a tiny look around since then. Not too much. That's still, that's still my astral tome. It's, it's not the zoom in key, but I know there's a small one over there. I might have seen that in the last episode, it's, it's been a while, I don't quite remember. Um, yeah, we collected a lot of sand. I think I cleared out like a small mountain or something. Uh, and in this episode, I guess I just want to get more of our base set up. Because I don't know about you, but I'm kind of I'm kind of sick of all the mobs spawning and uh, I'm getting in the way of things. So let's just... Uh, I want to I make sure it's even. Whenever I build things, I have to make them even. Otherwise, it just annoys me, I guess. So, yeah, let's build 19 blocks out. <laughs> uh, and then we'll use the 20th for the actual perimeter wall. So I think that was four. Yeah, four. There we go. I'm actually starting to realize that 19 is kind of big. But you know what? We're, we're going to need the room. If we're going to be doing magic, we're going to need the extra space, so it shouldn't matter too much. That's the, like, biggest, uh, feedback I got on the last episode, actually, is that while me speaking like this is fine, apparently you want me to speak quicker, which, I mean, I can do, you know, I, I can ramble for days, but I don't know, I like the chill vibe. This is, I want you to be able to put this on and listen to it while you're falling asleep. Although, to be fair, in terms of audience retention, putting my audience to sleep probably, probably isn't ver a very good business strategy. Uh, one, two, three. And I didn't get shot or blown up, so I'd consider that an absolute win. Uh, but we are just going to quickly skip the night, because I don't want to have to deal with any of that, really. Um, my only hope is that my computer doesn't turn itself off while I'm filming this, because... That happened recently, and I lost two hours of footage. And when I tried to recover the footage, it was completely data moshed and just completely unrecoverable. So, that was not a fun time. I really should have brought some stone brick with me, shouldn't I? Oh, I barely have any cobblestone. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, I appear to be tired. Okay, so this is going to be seven wide. So if we go over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. There we go. We've got a stray that needs to be dealt with, apparently. Oh, wait, no, you're not a stray. You're a husk, aren't you? The strays and skeletons. Right, up over here. I don't think I've ever made a circle this big without looking at a guide before. Or at least if I have, it was in creative mode, so I'm gonna have to be very careful that I don't completely fuck this up. Uh, one, two, no, no, why would I want you there? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven again. And I want to check this out, because I spotted it just a second ago while I was bridging over here, but these are usually indicative of an underground astral monument, which usually means that there's a chest down here. Oh, that's not a chest. That's just a bunch of skeletons. Okay, well, I can deal with you. You're not too hard to deal with. Uh, let's see, some aquamarine. That's always, that's always handy. Some iron. That's also always handy. Ooh, more constellation paper. You memorize a drawing of dis dis dissidia? 
Dis Discidia? Something like that. Uh, and there's some more gold, and that's about it. I'm gonna be honest, there's nothing else of worth in here other than you. Hello, sailor. You are very important. An ev Evoriso Collector Crystal. You know that knowing this is here, I should probably build my base above this actually, because these things are, from what I can tell, very important to the Astral Sorcery mod. Not that I know much about the Astral Sorcery mod, that's kind of the point of this series. Uh, all I know is that I need to make some sort of Astral Tome, some sort of book. Right, okay, so to make an Astral Tome... I need uh, three aquamarine, one parchment, and a book. You know, it's strange. I've never had to look up the crafting recipe for one of these. I've always taken them for granted. I always just spawn with them, but now that I actually have to make one, it suddenly seems like a lot more work. But at least it's just paper and aquamarine, because... Well, I was going to say we have a, an abundance of sugarcane, but, you know... We're in a desert. This this isn't exactly natural sugarcane habitat. I know we've passed some though, so it shouldn't be too hard to find any. Right, I do want to finish this outer perimeter first though. So I'm gonna guess I have to start with the three, uh, the three by one things. Oh, fuck, what is wrong with me? Ugh. I should go grab a cider. <laughs> My pre-recording cider. Usually it's energy drinks. Oh, that's what's different about my routine. I didn't buy an energy drink. Okay, that that that's uh that makes sense. Uh I yeah, I, I usually grab an energy drink before I start recording and then I'll I'll crack it open on camera so you can hear like the, the opening sound. That's kind of like the thing me and Ruby do. I guess that's why I'm, I'm I'm so out of sync. Why I'm yawning so much. I never I never grabbed my pre-recording energy drink. Okay, it looks like the sugar cane over there, so I don't have to walk far at least. Is that a dead desert thing? Huh. There are lots of ugly biomes in this mod pack. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what was wrong with Biomes of Plenty? Why did why did why did people think it was necessary to stop updating Biomes of Plenty and replace it with this new like shit Biomes of Plenty version? It's just like what we had was perfectly good. You didn't have to add anything if you didn't want to. You could have just kept what we had, but no, apparently what we had was too good for you. We had to get this new shit one that I can't even remember the name of because its name is an acronym. I, put a, I went on a bit of a tangent there, didn't I? Alright, let's get rid of the cactus so this doesn't break, and then let's... Okay, I guess we're taking the cactus with us, too. I refuse. What was that? I did not like that sound. That was a very spooky sound. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen, and it wasn't as entertaining as I thought it would be. I should probably grab some of this aquamarine, actually, because we need this for the mod. This is, like, really important. As far as I can tell, there are only two fucking ores in this mod pack. Or not this mod pack, this this specific mod. And this is one of them. The other one I think is like really fucking rare, and I don't actually remember what it does, so we should be fine for now. Alright, how much is that? That's 16. That's more than enough. Now let's just rem hope I remember my fucking way back. There we go. These mineral berries are really, like, useful. I have no idea where Ruby got them from, which is a shame, because, like I said, they're really useful. I should probably ask him about that, actually. Make so I have the chance. Ugh. I am so sorry. I don't, I don't want to be causing people to involuntarily yawn. God, it's almost like I find my own series boring. That would be terrifying. First series I do on my own, and even I find it boring. That is... I hope that's not foreshadowing, because that would really suck. I hope it goes well. I, I hope it goes well. That better grow, just because it's just because it's under fucking shade means doesn't mean that shouldn't grow. Yeah, let's uh let's turn this into paper so that we can make a book. I should have some leather lying about, right? I don't have any leather, do I? 
No, I do not. Okay, that means we're... Ow, my ass! Ow, my ass! Oh! Oh, my ass! Hey, bit of trivia about the drifter. I have a damaged tailbone. I've had it for years. And it gets very fucking painful. Do you know how some people will say, Oh, you don't do anything, you just sit on your ass, how can you bear to shape? I genuinely feel pain if I sit on my ass for too long. I literally can't, like, sit on my ass forever, otherwise I will just be in agonizing pain. Um, I should probably get it checked out, but I don't trust doctors, so, you know. Alright, there's a book. Shit, I needed paper for parchment, didn't I? Yes, I did, which means I need more sugar cane. Which means I need this sugar cane to grow. Why is everything I'm doing in this mod pack recently reliant on fucking waiting for arbitrary RNG to reach 100? It's ridiculous. By the time you see this, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, because what I'm talking about probably will have happened a long fucking time ago. Actually, no, it wouldn't have. It would have happened recently. Maybe you guys still know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Yeah. I need, all, I, all I know is I need to find more sugar cane. Uh, hopefully there's some more over here that I just didn't see last time. Because if there's not, I don't want to have to go on another adventure. Oh, you watch. I'm going to go on an adventure to find sugar cane. And I'm going to find one of those massive fucking astral temples. Like the one that I wanted to find. And then I'm going to have to move all of my shit over there. Because I'll have found the base that I want. And it, all of that effort that I put into the circle around my current base will have been for nothing, because that's just how life works. <sighs> Give me my fucking sugar cane. There we go, five sugar cane. Is that enough? That'll give me... Well, how many papers is that? How many paper does that give me? That gives me three paper, and I need four, which means I need exactly one more piece of sugarcane, which means I'm gonna fucking blow my... Let's see if we can find the extra piece of sugarcane. See, it's right here. We didn't have to go far, but that was more than one piece, which means that's gonna really piss off my OCD. In fact, that's exactly one piece too many now. So, in order to save my sanity, I'm just gonna plant one of these. Like, when we get back to base, I'm just gonna plant one of these. <laughs> I do want to know what those glowing fucking orbs are, though. I know these things are astral sorcery, but I don't actually know what they are beyond that. All of the research I did, a la looking at five minutes of a 23-minute YouTube video after recording the last episode, did not prepare me to deal with whatever the floating fucking orbs are. I'd probably be more at home if it was Thaumcraft, just because, I don't know, I grew up with Thaumcraft. I know how Thaumcraft works. But, alas, the creator of Thalmcraft completely fucked up their own mod in the fourth iteration, and then I think they just stopped updating it, so... Yeah, that ain't coming back anytime soon. Uh, but, you know, hey, at least we've got Ars Magica, a la Ars Novo, um... Which I also have no idea how to use because they changed it again. Um, but, you know, we can always figure that out at a later time. Right now, I kind of just want to focus on my star magic, because, you know, I like my stars. Uh, but yeah, let's go plant this extra piece of sugar cane. Let's, let's go plant this extra piece of sugar cane. It doesn't look to be growing. I really hope it's growing, otherwise I'm gonna have to nerd pole up to that island and completely fucking demolish it. Wow, Ruby would be proud of me, embracing my inner capitalist right there. Really? It's not night time yet? Okay, you know what? Fuck this. Give me my sugar cane. I mean, my paper. And now give me my book. No! My... my parchment. There we go. Parchment, and then Astral Tome. There we go. Okay! Astral Tome. Discovery. What am I doing? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here's the Astral Tome. Here's welcome. We congratulate you on your choice to pursue your undergraduate magical studies with the Academy of the Astral. The tome held in your hands has been specially prepared by the Academy's instructors Bullshit, I made it myself, you watched me to serve as your study and learning guide for the duration of this pursuit. Each tome is linked to our Starlight Archives and will automatically expand the information available within based on your progress. Oh, so the book has Wi-Fi. Magical Wi-Fi. Nice. 
In this way, direct instruction by our professors is not needed and you will be able to progress at whatever rate best suits your particular learning needs.